Welcome back to Megazoid's Hut. Um, this is what I've got for you. Uh, basically, it's in progress. I don't have a finished gadget. I mean, it's the mini retro TV I'm trying to redo, get rid of the wiring, get rid of almost all the wiring, and then have a, something that's a, uh, a bit more reliable to put together. You know, maybe as a kid, I, I would... Uh, you know, I would I, I'd just uh, open source this, obviously, if I if it works. So it's just nothing fancy, really. It's just got the amps on the board, a um, couple of uh, on-off button, and the channel change. I've decided to go with the um, D1 Mini because it's just much cheaper. The Lilygo T7 is a nice board. It's not exactly expensive at around about seven pounds, but they charge quite a lot for postage. Whereas this thing I can get in my hands for sort of four pounds, the Lily, the the T7 is going to cost a lot more. You you can reduce the cost with scale, but uh, if you just buy one, you're looking at well, thirteen pounds. Uh, so anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's really cheap. Uh, you can just about see the amp on the board there, tucked underneath, and then this one is the version one so I've actually oh you yeah, know that looks ridiculous but it's just to test whether it works like that now version two I've included the SD card reader actually on this board I've moved the amp back I'll show you that in a minute and uh, yeah it does work the only disadvantage of using the the uh, D1 is it doesn't have the charging circuit so you've got to use something external get this in. so eventually it's going to be this big forget the not guilty President Trump <laughs> that's all going to be off it's going to be a single board that's not much bigger than the screen So it's nearly there. I mean, I, you know, quite lucky that the first one worked, but I wasn't quite happy with it. I've uh, not quite happy with it. I changed the traces a bit. I've sort of widened some of the traces because I'm still getting a little bit of static now and again. But it's sort of ninety percent there. As I said, I'm gonna. I'll show you the new one. Um, these these boards are charge and a boost to 5 volts so it's not a very small compact board costs nothing 20p so it's not really adding much to the cost you know this additional component is not adding much to the cost so here's the original design the uh, version 1 that went off to JLB PCB uh, pretty simple really I mean it's just you know connect the dots or get the computer to connect the dots I mean there's nothing particularly clever about it um, but it did work it there was a some some it, well, things needed to be soldered really really well which is I'm not trying to get away from that so I did make a few changes but the main change in the second version was to include the SD card reader on the actual boards everything's on there apart from the charging board charging circuit which I can't I just can't get on there really realistically it won't fit so that's everything you can get on there and uh so look at 3d see how there it is uh just 10 three, four 10k resistors for the SD card lines because only using four of them um, on SD card readers, they do they can have these uh, bike bypass capacitor, capacitors. A couple of you know a couple of bypass capacitors in parallel seems to be. Uh, I took them off and it actually worked better. So I've not put them on there. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty confident that's not that's going to work. There is a I've done a a pour a copper pour as well ground on there. Not really sure why. I mean I think uh, well grounding is important, but. Anyway, so they're basically it. I widened some of the uh, widened some of the holes there. Try and get a bit more, slightly bit more surface area. This has got a whacking great one 
one millimeter trace ridiculous for the uh, clock line there but it seems to need it i mean it is a very very odd circuit that uh, that the you know the one mil i mean you could probably put 50 volts down there or 100 i don't know some crazy amount of voltage down a, tra a trace that thick you know ironically the vcc the the actual uh power line to the screen is only is half that size but anyway there we go it is what it is so that's with um jlb pcb at the moment and as soon as i get that i'll knock that together and then if everything works i'll be producing a case um, before you go, if you're still watching, obviously, uh, I, Lee made uh, American Lee made some lovely little uh, stands for his uh, retro, mini retro TV based on a real design. And I did knock one up. It's got sliding doors; you can put stuff in there. He's, I believe, he wanted to put a bigger battery in there. Uh, I've got the camera at the wrong angle to really show this off properly, but I just thought I'd uh, put it in the video. I don't, I don't know if he's uploaded his files anywhere. It'd be nice if he if he put them up on uh, Thingiverse or something. But yeah, lovely little stand for the TV. Yeah, again, I can't really show this off perfectly. But uh, yeah, I mean, I really like that. Uh, he did a did a big one with actual uh, with a working lamp on it and a, and a vase. It looked absolutely over the top. It looked absolutely brilliant. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully next uh, next time I'll have something a bit more finished for you.